I have a tendency sometimes to react very aggressive when people decide to jump the queue. I don't know what it is about cues. Maybe it's the uh, silent agreement that we all have where we're all deciding to be adults and kind of respect each other and say, yeah, you're behind me, you're in front of me and all that stuff, especially when it comes to a club like Berghain, where usually on most popular days or most of the time in the year, there's definitely going to be a queue of maybe a minimum of 30 minutes, max, maybe four hours. So it's pretty important to make sure that everyone kind of has this silent agreement that we're all going to be in the line together and no one's going to jump the queue. No one's going to be, you know, disrespectful or whatnot but in some cases or especially most recently i felt like there's been a real uptick with the amount of people that decide to queue jump when it comes to burkhan and it's really really annoying i have to be completely honest and for me I've always had a very visceral reaction to queue jumpers, which might go back to my days of queuing up outside of, you know, streetwear stores and sneaker stores back in the day to buy limited edition shoes to flip on eBay so I can pay myself for uni or so I can buy more expensive streetwear stuff to make myself feel cool and validated. I'm not too sure why, but I think maybe at that time when I was really young, like 18 or whatnot, and you're getting all these older quote unquote guys jumping the queue and basically rendering your overnight stay, sleeping on a sleeping bag or on a chair upright rendering it mute by basically jumping the queue or saying that they know the flipping owner that re probably set with me that that resentment so now if i ever see it happening in my you know adult life i have to say something so I'm, when i'm reading these accounts of people who are getting really upset at people jumping the queue i'm thinking to myself why would they ever allow it i would never allow anybody in their life to ever jump in the queue with me at Berghain. and the thing is i understand the hesitancy not to say nothing because essentially the etiquette around Berghain when you're in a queue is to always be in your best behavior because you want to increase your chances of getting inside and it's probably the most well-behaved queue in in the world when it comes to club culture so everybody's kind of very cognitive or aware of making sure they don't you know act out or do anything nutty that they would do in maybe other places they go people don't go too crazy and whatnot there's still a bit of drinking there and people doing whatever they're doing but for the most part everyone's usually well behaved so i understand the tendency not to say something because you don't want to have a loud and aggressive interaction with somebody or confrontation and then have the bouncers see that and essentially say yeah you're definitely not getting in because you're coming in with a bad vibe but for me personally whenever i've seen it happen and usually i've been lucky enough where i can stop it because usually if somebody's trying to queue jump i feel like they're always trying to queue jump around this part here which if you can't see in the screen but essentially it's where the bars and the barriers are i feel like just before there's where people usually try and queue jump because that's the that's the advantage of trying to queue jump what's up on a queue jumping from the back so people try and usually go in around towards the front and usually around here it's a bit easier to stop somebody because you can just stop them you know you can just maybe block the thing that you're standing on or just say nah you're not going to let four or seven people in because that's the other thing too that's really annoying when people queue jump it's not like they're queue jumping for one person just to meet their friend oh my friend's up there do you mind even if it's not their friend you let them through anyway it's usually more than two people all the time and for me i just never allow it because if i'm standing out there for an hour plus the last thing i think is fair is for you to just queue jump because you don't want to wait the two hours that you're now going to wait because the queue is longer than when it was when i first joined it just is what it is and the other thing that's incredibly annoying about it also is that for the most part i think most people are pretty reasonable in the queue and pretty you know chill if you'd ask them they'd probably let you go they'd probably let you jump in or stand with them or stand behind them it probably wouldn't be that much of an issue but i feel like the arrogance and the entitlement of just deciding no i'm gonna go in this way is just really horrible there's another little caveat behind it whereas which is i've heard people say most of the people that queue jump are regulars so they're people who maybe go to berkheim all the time or live in berlin and they kind of have this sense that they should be allowed to queue jump because this is their hometown this is their home club or this is a local club wherever it may be and locals get priority over tourists which i can kind of understand to a certain extent you know it might be annoying if you go to bergen every weekend and then just because it's a popular weekend all the tourists come and you're having to wait for seven hours while all these people you know from wherever that clearly aren't going to get in are wasting their time taking up space in the queue but i just think when it comes to the queue politics and dynamics and whatnot you just have to obey the silent agreement that we all have where we're all going to wait in line and we're all going to be fair and we're not going to queue jump i just think it's better that way personally for me i'd never do that to somebody i literally won't i'd i'd much rather ask somebody which i wouldn't also because i don't like you know asking for those kind of things just doesn't make any sense i'm just standing in a queue and wait you know the longest i've ever had to wait to go in Berkheim was four hours i waited for four hours but i still got in do you know what i mean it's not that big of a deal and if you don't get in you're in a city with some of the you know the most clubs ever in the world i reckon probably per flipping square meters it's not that big of a deal can't understand people who don't say anything 
that's the thing that really trips me out. Like, you legitimately let people just go in front of them all day long. It just it, it amazes me. I think now it might not be that much of an issue, especially now if I decide to go in that like January, February time, because usually those are the colder months and they're not the most popular times to go, but definitely the best, I feel like, in terms of getting a real understanding or a feel for what that club's about, especially Panorama Bar. I feel like it's always the best around the New Year time. For me personally, the first four months of the year, Panorama Bar is usually brilliant. Um, the vibe is usually electric. The Bergheim main floor is usually pretty decent also but with it being cold you're probably not going to get that much people queue jumping and whatnot but last year when i went around june and stuff whoa i got into a couple of you know spats i'd say with people in the queue which is annoying because then you end up seeing them in there and they're all nice and huggy and like oh my god sorry about earlier but it's like why did you do that you nearly ruined my mood going in just so you could what we could all meet each other at the same time because we, you know, we know most likely you're going to get in because if you're queue jumping you're probably confident enough that you're going to get inside right or you just want to maybe just get it over and done with in case you don't but just no need for it just let respect everybody queue is normally and let everybody get in on time i think that's the best way to go about things but you know i understand maybe when you're there it's a bit different and you want to change things up a bit